This tutorial video will guide you on enabling the high-speed counter and its related functionalities for IRETN 40R. To download the Easy Remote I.O. application, please visit the official WayneTech website. Launch Easy Remote I.O. and click on Scan to search for IRETN 40R devices on the network. Click Modify to modify the network parameters for devices on the same network as the PC. Then click Parameter to view IRETN 40R's parameters. Click on Monitor to keep Easy Remote I.O.'s parameter values continuously updated. Find the terminal high-speed input function set to Simple Counter and click Download to write the parameter values. Terminal 1's pins 10 and 11 will be assigned for the simple counter operation. First, input 10,000 pulses through Terminal 1's pin 10. Next, input 10,000 pulses through Terminal 1's pin 11. The high-speed inputs can also measure counting speed. To measure speed, you need to set two parameters, time windows, and windows channel. Time windows represents the average number of pulses within a 1000 milliseconds time range, which indicates the current speed. Windows channel specifies the counter for speed measurement. A value of 1 means the system is measuring the speed of simple counter 0. Now, when you input 10,000 pulses through Terminal 1's pin 10, you can observe the current movement speed in the rate value register. Note that IRETN 40R can measure speed for only one counter at a time. For applications requiring the counter to reset automatically after counting a specified distance, you need to set the corresponding registers for simple counter 0. Set upper limit register to 5000. When the counter value reaches 5000, simple counter 0 value will reset to 0 and start counting again. Now if you input 10,000 pulses through Terminal 1's pin 10, the register, simple counter 0 value, will count 10,000 pulses, and when the counter reaches the simple counter 0 upper limit of 5,000 resets back to 0, and starts counting again. Simple counters are unidirectional. If you need bidirectional counting, set Terminal High Speed Input Function to Bidirectional Counter 0 up and down, and click Download to write the parameter values. The counter value is displayed on bidirectional counter 0 value. When you input 10,000 pulses through Terminal 1's pin 10, bidirectional counter 0 value counts up to 10,000 in the positive direction. On the contrary, if you want bidirectional counter 0 value to count in the negative direction, you need to send 10,000 pulses through Terminal 1's pin 11. The value in the bidirectional counter 0 value register will decrease as the counting progresses. If your application requires the counter to reset automatically, you can set upper limit. Set the upper limit register to 3000. This means that when the counter value reaches 3000, bidirectional counter zero value will automatically reset and start counting again. Now, input 10,000 pulses through terminal 1's pin 10 to bidirectional counter zero value. Once the value reaches 3000, it resets to ultimately settle at a final counted value of 1000. If bidirectional counter is configured with only upper limit, set and lower limit, not set, and it counts in the negative direction, it will keep counting until it reaches the maximum negative value before resetting. It is recommended to set both upper limit and lower limit together.